ChatGPT plus Pictory, faceless AI generated YouTube videos. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be taking a quick look at how you can start generating videos without having to include your face using AI. So let's get into it. I've left a link in the description box down below for you guys to get started with Pictory and you guys can use the code creator20 to get 20% off of your preferred plan on Pictory. Now for this, all you need is Pictory and ChatGPT and I will show you guys exactly how you can create your videos with these two tools. So starting off, ChatGPT is going to allow you to create a script. And once you write your script using ChatGPT, you can easily go on to Pictory AI, which allows you to create script to video and it will automatically select video or visual scenes. It will create a storyboard and it will also generate a AI voiceover. So you don't have to include your face, nor do you have to record your own voiceovers. You can do that all with AI. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is ask ChatGPT to write a script according to your topic. Now, for faceless channels, there are certain things that are more popular like things to do, travel, listicles, those types of niches are more popular. So you can choose out of those niches. Let's say I want to build a video on Japan and things to do in Japan. So all I'm doing is I've typed in ChatGPT to can you write a script for faceless YouTube videos on the topic of things to do in Japan. Now I will simply generate my script over here and the title is 10 must do things or experiences in Japan. Just like that, I have my voiceover generated as well. Then I have my scenes as well. Now one thing to keep in mind whenever you are creating these types of videos is to remove these lines, these bracketed lines that are included in the AI generated script. So I've let ChatGPT generate my entire script. You guys can see the script has been completed. Now I'm going to copy the script and I'm just going to put it in a empty document and I'm just going to paste it like so. Now once I have this pasted, what I want to do is I want to remove these brackets and I'm just going to add only the things I want my voiceover to say, just like that. So I'm just going to remove all of these brackets over here like so. And these scenes also help in generating your background. If you want to keep the scenes and add your backgrounds later on you can just keep them saved but i don't need that with pictory pictory is going to pick out the keywords and then add scenes accordingly so i just need to make sure that everything is spaced out correctly so i'm just gonna scroll down and i'm gonna keep this a little short because i want to show you guys the end result of my chat gpt plus pictory ai generated video so i'm gonna keep my script a little short and i'm just going to keep it to these three basic things now i'm gonna remove all all of the hyphenations or any of these uh, bracketed or you know extra grammatical items because I don't want my narrator to have a lot of spaces and I'm just going to end all of this as well. Once you have customized this there might be something you want to focus on more. So let's say I have this which is maybe which is maybe Osaka's food paradise. So what I can do is I can copy this and I can ask ChatGPT, just paste it directly back into ChatGPT, and then you can write, and I can ask it to expand this particular point. Now, it's just going to expand on that specific point, and it can be another YouTube video, another automation video you can generate just off of that, but I'm just going to generate this point, and I'll just get a listicle out of this instead of copying this entire thing, but I'm just going to copy this because this is a great way where you can focus on the, or pinpoint on the particular things you want want to focus on. So instead of having a very generalized video, you can explore and create more particular items or videos. Now I'm just going to go with this shorter script just so I can show you guys these particular results that I'm going to get with AI. I'm going to copy this. Now after that, you want to go into Pictory and you just want to click on proceed over here on the script to video. Once you do that, you just want to paste your now you're going to paste your script over here. Once your script has been pasted, we're going to copy and enter our video name. And I'm going to remove it from my script. Now, after that, I'm going to separate these sentences. Now, this is very important because if you don't separate these sentences, it's not going to be very easy for the Pictory AI to create the visual elements for you. The visual elements are created sentence by sentence. So instead of having to separate your sentences later on, it's better to do it right over here once you're in the script editor. So now I'm going to space these out. Now after that, we are going to add these. Now I want to give these this you know continued sentence a more of a suspenseful uh, feel 
middle so i'm just separating even a singular sentence like this like so now i'm just going to shorten this so and like this i'm just going to make this a little more suspenseful like so now i have separated all these sentences to how many scenes i want you can later on choose to create more scenes as well it's just easier to have at least a basic structure ready whenever you are editing your script once this has been completed you just want to click on proceed on the top left now once you have clicked on proceed you guys will see a bunch of, a bunch of different templates that you can choose depending on the niche that you are in if you are in more of a uh, architectural niche or a industrial niche you can choose a specific Specific industrial type if you're more into the news niche you can choose a font like this depending on what you are creating the video for the font will be different uh, you can use the dove font or the standard one if you're not really certain about what kind of niche you're going to be focusing on the standard one really helps you in creating the most simplistic view for your audience now after that you have to choose your aspect ratio for the faithless automation niche we're targeting youtube obviously so we are going to continue with the 16 by 9 ratio now after that the faceless youtube video will be generated now this is just going to take a couple of seconds for it to generate all of the visuals however make sure that you are overseeing your visuals because it's a very essential element that is going to make or break your video so i'm just going to let this complete and i'll get back to you guys now you guys can see all of my scenes have been generated i have different duration for each scene as well depending on how long the sentence is now you guys can see it says welcome to this faceless journey through japan a country where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with marvels so i don't want to add faceless so just like that i'm just going to add this and now this is our new visual our first top is tokyo the bustling capital city of japan get ready to be mesmerized with the vibrant cityscape obviously you want to go scene by scene and just take a look at all of the visuals that have been added now i don't like this visual filled with skyscrapers neon lights and endless entertainment however it has added a generated video so it's not a real video it's a animated video which i don't particularly like so for that what i am going to do is i'm just going to click on the scene the scene that i don't like and then you want to click on visuals on the left side once you click on visuals you can choose whatever type of visual you want so you can just search in their image library i'm just going to search for tokyo like this tokyo at night because the ai chooses the particular words it might take some visuals that are a bit cringy or are just not appropriate or befitting with the rest of your video so i'm going to choose a different kind of visual I'm going to search for Tokyo once more and I'm just going to find a visual that fits with my look better. So this visual looks a whole lot better. Now, one thing to keep in mind whenever you switch visuals is that some visuals can seem like they are uh, a bit zoomed out. So if you want to zoom into visuals, just click on your settings on the bottom right. Once you click on settings, you will see visuals. It says loop video and visual zoom and pen. If you have visual zoom and pen turned off, some of the videos or the size of the video can be a bit small. So you want to make sure to turn on visual zoom and pen to make sure that the video befits the entire screen ratio that you have. Now, after that, just go over the entire visual element, see whatever befits. And let's say this is looking a bit too long and I don't like the appearance of this. So to do that, I'm uh, to separate this i'm going to go back into my story on the top left and then you guys can see this is the scene that i'm on it's my final scene and i think it's a bit too long now if i want to keep the same visual element and i want to just break down my sentences while keeping the same visual element on screen all i have to do is i want to click on the sentences on the left side and I, once i click on my text i can place my cursor wherever i want to split my text and then you will click on split scene on the top once you click on that the same background will be used for both of these scenes over here just like so and if you want to change the background of the scene all you have to do is click on these chains over here once you click on these these will unlink the both of these scenes and once you have unlinked these scenes you can change the background so after that i can click on my final scene go into visual i can search for osaka food and i'm just going to use this video instead 
Now, once you are satisfied with the overall appearance of your AI generated video with Pictory, you want to add your audio or your voiceover. Not only can you add your voiceovers, but you can also add music directly from Pictory. So to do this, all you have to do is go into audio on the left side of your screen. Once you go into audio, you will see a automatic audio will be applied. You can choose to remove that as well. Then you have your voiceover on the top. So you guys can see there are multiple different voiceover voices available. Let's hear one or two to show you guys the different varieties that they have. Welcome to Pictory. Welcome to Pictory. So you guys can see they have multiple different voices. I am going to use the English South African accent of Ayanda, which is a female accent. Welcome to Pictory. I personally like it because it just sounds really nice. So I'm just going to choose this and click on apply. And this will be applied to the preview version of my video. Now, once I have my AI generated voiceover added i can also add background music you can also go into my uploads and upload your own voiceover or upload your own background music as well but i am just going to choose some background music from here so i'm going to use this music particularly and i'm going to click on apply now once you have your voiceover and your background music that you have chosen you want to set the volume for your specific audio so you can click on volume over here and you will see the background music volume if you want it to be really muted you can turn it down you can go move it up if you want your background music to be a bit more listenable and then you have your voiceover volume which is set on 50 percent which is usually pretty nice once you have said that you can also go into elements if you want to add Add any more GIFs, stickers, memeable items. Depending on your niche, you want, might want to add memeable items as well. Depending on your automation niche, if you're doing celebrity content for that type of stuff, these kinds of features are super helpful. But for this type of niche, I don't want to add any GIFs or stickers. However, you can include them in your video if you want to. Once you have completed all of these steps, the final step that you have to do is you can preview a couple of scenes. So we're just going to create a video preview. Welcome to this journey through Japan a country where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with modern marvels. Now, after you have seen a preview of one or two clips, you can see the scene duration as well. You can choose a particular scene duration for each individual scene as well, or you can even set a standard scene duration if all of your sentences are around the same time. Now, also keep in mind, if you want to trim your video, you can also do that directly in Pictory, and you can also see that if you want to hide your text, you can also do that. But I want to show my text and if you want to only hide it from one particular scene maybe one scene has something like more of a one scene has you know a very visual element that you want your audience to focus on you can choose to hide the text as well and once you have set up all of your settings all you have to do is click on preview on your top right and it will create your full video preview and once you are satisfied with the video preview you're going to click on download so let's take a look at our video preview a country where ancient traditions blend seamlessly with modern marvels. Our first stop is Tokyo, the bustling capital city of Japan. Get ready to be mesmerized by the vibrant cityscape filled with skyscrapers, neon lights, and endless entertainment. So you guys can see that it has done a great job in creating our faceless YouTube AI-generated content. And if you like your content so far, you don't want to make any more final edits, you can click on download on the top right, click on video over here, and just like that, it will process your audio and video and then it will be ready to be downloaded. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video.